Today's passage is Lamentations chapter 4, beginning with verse 18, going to verse 20, New English Translation. Our enemies hunted us down at every step so that we could not walk about in our streets. Our end drew near. Our days were numbered, for our end had come. Those who pursued us were swifter than eagles in the sky. They chased us over the mountains. They ambushed us in the wilderness. Our very life breath, the Lord's anointed king, was caught in their traps, of whom we thought, under his protection, we will survive among the nations. The lamenter describes the day the unthinkable happened. God's anointed king was captured. No one could imagine such a thing. After all, God's king is untouchable, right? But God allowed his anointed king to be captured by the enemy. He was the breath of our nostrils, but God's judgment upon his people for their sin falls on even him. Such words remind me of the faithfulness of God to his own word. For a long time, God's prophets warned his people of coming judgment, but they thought they were protected. You and I need to come to the realization that our God of love is also a God of wrath and judgment, and we should not assume and presume just because that there are strong people or powerful people around us that we are protected. We must seek a relationship with God ourselves, and we must seek leaders who reflect that commitment to God as well. Lord, we come to you today realizing afresh that we need your kingdom and your righteousness in truth. We seek your protection by faith. We do not assume it, and we ask you for leaders who stand for your word and who are, will be protected by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.